Heartbreaker? <laughs> I barely know her. I'm a rogue who doesn't play by anybody's rules except for my own. My name strikes fear into the hearts of those that are daring enough to confront me. The world knows my name, but nobody's brave enough to speak it. Hey, Charles. Except for that guy. Steven, leave these pirates alone. Hold it, what are you guys doing here? Man, Man we're just chilling. Man, but now we're gonna kick your ass. Steven, no, you're the one that started this. You can finish it. I'll check in with you later. All right, fine. I'm only gonna help you because I feel bad. Yeah, that'll show you. All right, so what now, Steven? Five years ago, Team dude, Plasma what? stole my little sister's This is purloin. about a purloin, dude? I was you only can literally a little go kid. get one. They're I couldn't like do anything first about it. Again. Damn, this dude's dramatic. Yo, what are all these people doing over here? They call me a heartbreaker, but my name? <laughs> Charles. And I really wanted to impress this girl. I invented triple battles. It's, 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 um, um, it's, it's a Pokemon battle, but with three Pokemon. Wow. Do you, do you get it? Yeah, I, I get it. They call me a heartbreaker, but my name? Are you okay, man? <laughs> Charles? Charles. Charles, you can't be going around talking to children, telling them that you're at full throttle. I love getting intimidated at the start of a battle. Please give me plus one attack. A sludge bomb from Excelgore is somehow not enough to kill my Meganium. I go for a leaf blade on the Krokorok with my plus one superior, and that is enough to take it out. I'm kind of a bozo, and I doubled into that slot with a grass knot from Victini, so, uh, F. But the Icy Wind isn't gonna kill anybody here. Get him, Meganium! Hit him with an ancient power! <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? My guys are gonna die this turn, so I go for a Leaf Blade to get as much damage as possible on the Bufalin. Meanwhile, Lexelgor makes my Meganium bite the curb. Air Cutter is gonna take out my Superior, however, my Victini manages to dodge it. Victini does get the Psy Shock off on the Bufalin, and it's just barely enough to not kill. Owie. I swap out Victini to save them for later, and I go for a Fake Out on the Excelgor. Jesus Christ, Metacham. Pseudo Wudo takes an Esper Wing and Charizard takes out the Bufalant with a Flame Burst. Charizard hits the Dredagon with a Dragon Breath for a good amount of damage. Everyone on the team is going to tank the Air Cutter. Metacham is going to get a Rock Tomb off on the Sigilyph. Dredagon is going to miss a Dragon Rush. Crustle goes for an X-Scissor on Pseudo Wudo and Pseudo Wudo hits a Stone Edge on the Crustle. Sadly, it does have Sturdy. I don't know what the fuck Esper Wing does, but somehow it out-prioritizes Sucker Punch, so Pseudo Wudo's dead. Russell has a Custap, so it gets to hit my Charizard with a Rock Slide. Oh boy. But at least Metacham can take out the Dredagon with a Power Up Punch. A Blaze Kick from Victini is gonna take out the Sigilyph. I don't know why it didn't Esper Wing again, but whatever. Metacham cannot hit the Crustle from the other side of the field, so Victini just dies to a Rock Slide. But it's just a 1v1 now and the Crustle's on one, so this is easy peasy for my Metacham. They call me a Heartbreaker. That's embarrassing. They call me a Heartbreaker, but my name is Charles. <laughs> There is no way that this guy is mentally well. Bridge time! Driftville City is famous for the drawbridge, the PWT, and of course... Charles! Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. Hey, what's up? Please stop talking about motorcycles. He was at full throttle! I really don't care that Charles was here. What do you want? Oh, you're just giving me fossils. Okay, cool. Appreciate it. All right, uh, see ya. Oh, what's up, Shaman? Hey, baby. Ah! You've never seen a Charizard? Here, I'll show you mine. Okay, stop, stop. Get the, f get the fuck away from me. Oh, it's time to schmoove. Before I can actually get into the city, though, I encounter two different types of Team Plasma members. I guess one is old and one is new. Oh, hey, Steven. Welcome. 
That was all really weird. What do you think about this, Wizcash? Yep, uh huh. Yep, nope. That shit was pretty weird. This place just has a bunch of hotels for some reason, so uh, I'm just gonna go break into a bunch of different people's rooms. Yo, what's up? Nice place. Uh, thanks for the iron ball, I guess. I, I still feel his presence. I swear to God. Bro, why, what are you doing? They call Dude, me a heartbreaker. Stop. Charles, My name? please stop. Charles. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> yummy intimidate. Fake out the Acelagor, Leaf Blade, the Crocodile. Good night. A blaze kick on the Sigilyph for a little chip, and the Sigilyph counters with an icy wind. I figured the best damage I could do is heart stamp the Excelgore to try and take it out. However, I don't, and it gets off a U-turn. A rock slide from the Archeops is gonna be enough to take out my superior and do a good amount of damage to Victini. And then you can't forget about the asshole throwing an icy wind. Psyshock on the Archeops is gonna be enough to bring it into defeatist range, so now I don't have to worry about it as much, and a rock tomb is gonna take out the Sigilyph. Yeah, so the Caracosta Aqua Jets and kills my Metacham. And Excelgore is gonna U-turn and kill my Victini. Basculin comes in and then my Magneton gets hit with a Rock Slide. I don't get flinched, however, I chose to use Magnet Bomb on the Excelgore. So oopsie daisies, I made a fucky wucky. Dragon Breath is gonna be enough to take out the Archeops. But of course, the Basculin knows head smash. Farewell, Charizard. Yeah, I, I, I'm just kind of fucked at this point. I, I I did not have a team to do this battle. <laughs> I guess he really is a heartbreaker. What a humiliating loss. I will never live that one down. Hello, new best friend. Oh, hold on. Let me just prove my worth in battle real quick. Bro's got the Bufalant on the lead. <laughs> Meet Carl, bitch. Hit him with an aerial ace for a little damage. You know the deal. Head charge, no biggie. Holy shit. Surely Crush Claw gets the KO. All right, looks like Carl, you're going back in the box. Bufflin goes down with a single heart stamp, and the Stoutland comes out, and it has Intimidate, so thank you for the attack boost. Well, we just hit the Stoutland with a single Leaf Blade. And yeah, of course a crit would take it out. Swoobat comes in and I just kind of want to see what OJ Simpson can do. So I'm going to Dragon Breath and try and get a Paralysis. We don't get it. And yeah, I forgot this thing as simple and this setting up with a nasty plot is terrifying. There is no chance I can swap anything in safely on this. So you're just going to go for a Dragon Breath OJ and then I'll see you on the other side. It's all good. We got the guy. <laughs> And a Chandelure with Shadow Tag. Uh, goodbye, Magneton. Fuck him up, Charizard. Air Slash Flinch. Sad face. Air Slash Flinch. God damn it. So good, Victini's gonna clean up. A quick Psy Shock to put the Chandelure in the dirt. And the last Mon in the back is a Zorark. Uh, maybe I can kill it with a Blaze Kick. Aww. You, it, why'd you go for Grass Knot? Oh, now you go for Sucker Punch? Uh, yeah, that makes sense. But get the fuck out of here. Oh, you're gonna offer me a Zorua. Uh, no thanks, that Mon is trash. Wow, these Hoenn Gym Leaders are pretty cool, right? Surely you get like a good reward from beating them. Go fuck yourself, Norman. I wanted to get a few more encounters and going into round six, I found a hidden grotto. I'm not getting you. Now I tested this out. Uh, if I just run away from the Snover and get rid of the encounter, I can leave and just re-enter the grotto and there's a new Mon. And yes, our goat has returned. Welcome back, Mr. Weed. Surely because I've caught a Mon in this hidden grotto, it'll just disappear or it'll stop working. No, I can just keep looking for Mons. And after a few more attempts, I get exactly what I was looking for. Uh, donde esta la biblioteca? 
Mmm, me gusta lechuga. Well, I guess it's time for the gym. The gym itself isn't too difficult. The more annoying part is just how fucking difficult it is to find the gym leader in the first place. All you gotta do is just navigate through a maze of dark platforms and trainers hiding in the shadows. And yeah, you just gotta find the right path to the leader. Fun. Yeah, maybe he's this way. Just kidding, it's a fucking dead end. It took me way too long to figure out how to find the cowboy. Whoa! Don't mind the screen shaking, that is just Clay summoning the permanent sandstorm. Clay has the audacity to lead a seismitoad. Mr. Weed, put this man in the dirt. Uh, and then the Nido King comes out. Uh, I'll be straight up with you, Carl. Your only job here is to die. Wow, you're so good at following orders. Victini comes in next, and it actually learns Psy Shield Bash, so I could do a good amount of damage to the Nido King with this while also raising both of my defenses. This is really good because the Nido King is gonna hit me with an Earth Power, and as long as I don't get crit, I'm chillin'. Perfect. From here, a Psy Shock will easily take out the Nido King. Torterra comes in next, and Victini, you're not really gonna be useful for the rest of this fight, so Blaze Kick, get some good damage, and I'll see you later. Metacham can come in and finish this off. Uh, just a quick fake out for a little chip, and then a power up punch is gonna be enough to kill the Torterra and also raise my attack for the next Mon. Very brave of you to send in a Mamo Swine. Play, let me just show you why Power Up Punch is the best move in the game. Oh no, a Garchomp. Ruh row. He's gonna hit me with an Earthquake, but I should be able to live this. Yeah, perfect. Uh, okay, you're just dead. You're not surviving a Zen Headbutt. Womp womp, rip bozo. Okay, this kind of sucks though, because the Excadrill has Sand Rush and it's gonna outspeed everything I have. Thus, it will have no issue taking out my Metacham. All right, Mr. Weed, let's show him who's boss. Mach Punch won't kill, but it should be good damage. Jesus Christ, do not fuck with my goat. Finally, another gym badge that looks like it'll fit perfectly up my ass. Ooh, TM Earthquake. What are you two goobers talking about? Ah, the Pokemon World Tournament. Okay, okay. I will meet you there. This place is pretty cool. Uh, they got some stands, like uh, this dude tells you the hidden powers of your guys. There's a move, remember, deleter, etc. There's another entrance to the Relic Passage, and I'm just curious enough to go see what's up. There's some cool stuff, like the TM for Play Rough, and it's definitely a lot of Strength Rock. Oh. Oh, oh, does this mean? Come to me, you war criminal. I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. That's about all I could find that was useful in the Relic Passage. So I guess, uh, I guess I'm gonna go enter the tournament. Woo! Uh, so I can only participate in the Driftvale tournament and I can only pick three Mons. It's showtime. Wow, what a bracket. You're gonna make me fight Steven round one? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, he's hot, he's sweaty, he's moist. Look him up, boys, my babies. Yeah, he's cringe, he's weird, it's Steven. This will surely be the battle of a lifetime. All right, bring it on, Steven, you're a little bitch. Embor? Nah, I got that. Wait. Uh, Steven, why are your guys level 25? What the fuck was the point of that? You know what? Maybe that's just the warm up round. It, it, yeah, it'll get, it'll get better. All right, Sharon, show me what you got. Okay, the Stoutland lead, I can respect it. Sharon, what the fuck? Well, grand finals time. Ladies and gentlemen, he's hot, he's red, he's taking your mom to bed. Boys, they love me! Oh, oh, go. And then there's this guy with his level 25 mon. Look, Colrus, for the sake of my sanity, I swear to God, if your mons are all level 25. Okay, you evolved your Magnemite, that's a start. 
Fuck you. Damn, I lost the footage, guys. It was like a really well-fought battle. Ugh, I, I almost didn't make it out alive. What do I win? Woo! One single battle point, baby! No, no, leave. That was pretty fun, guys. I had a good time. <laughs> oh shit, are we are we really getting on the pirate ship? Whatever. All right, guys, now what? <laughs> that was just one guy, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, quap. <laughs> <laughs> the devil shakes with fear when the nice guy gets angry. Looks like I'm gonna have to put these two noobs to bed. Oh, you think you can handle me? Oh yeah. Get tucked, idiot. Oh, it's your turn? All right, go tuck yourself. What's the point of everybody handling their respective grunts if you guys are just gonna call me for backup anyways? This sharp somehow just tanks the fighting move even though he's four times weak to it, and he decides to counter by committing first degree murder against the Met tank. Oh, and then Sharon's kind of helping, I guess. Carl comes out because the other side has the audacity to double brick break into me, but at least Sharon actually does something useful this turn. Got the club going up. On a Tuesday. No, El Perro. Aquatel from Chinchino is going to fuck up the sock and the strength might as well have just killed the muck. Rock slide ain't gonna save you, little bro. No, goodbye, Sneasel. All right, Carl, this is your time to redeem yourself. Let's fucking go, baby! Get the fuck out of here! All right, time to save your useless ass. Even after an Intimidate, a power-up punch just almost kills the Krokorok. Garbodor just wants to stockpile. Meanwhile, we just tank the high horsepower. Oh, and then Steven's helping, I guess. Bah, 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 bah. Get the fuck out of here. Do me a favor and look at the HP of Bisharp and Embor at this point in the fight. And now let me show you an image of their HP at the end of the fight. Who's surprised? Definitely not me. Holy shit, guys. Be careful. This guy's purple. Oh, uh, it's a ninja ambush. Uh, well, apparently they have the power of teleportation because the ship is gone. That was definitely one of the most experiences of all time. Wait, there's something I'm forgetting to do. They call me a They call me a heartbreaker. But my name is Charles. Ah!